Hi guys, Merle here. Welcome back to War in the East German campaign. We are playing as the Axis forces and we'll be trying to sort out the mess that is the army group south today. Uh, we have turn 3. I have already mm, done movements for army group north. For army group north here and army group center here. Now uh, we'll be proceeding with what's happening in army group south. Let me just adjust the territory, mm, the fort level and the isolated units. So what's the situation here? We have a lot of pocketed units involved uh, in uh, here between Zhitomir, Proskurov and Rovno in this uh, area. And our um, Panzer Spearheads are in Kiev and down south here. Uh, unfortunately, we did not manage to pocket uh, Soviet units uh, in Vinica. They escaped south, joining with the rest of the Soviet territory, so they are not isolated. We'll try to find a remedy for this t tonight. Tonight on the Soviet versus German show. Mm, yes, but uh, we'll be starting from the boring side, and the boring side I mean the, mm, the rear. As usual, uh, it's better to start from the rear, to use the fresh divisions, and move it up uh, to the front. Now the Slovakian uh, core has been activated. You can send it a little bit more uh, to the east. We have some freshly activated uh, infantry division. As well, we can send it also to the east. We'll be using them to clear the um, clear the pocket, maybe. But I think the best idea is to leave the pocket alone and uh, and just try to send them east. I have here some security divisions. Could use both uh, both um, to attack. It's actually succeeded. The Soviets are getting weaker and weaker because. Uh, the, the supplies, their supplies are getting low, so we can exploit this idea. We have Slovakian mobile brigade. I'm not actually interested how the equipment looks like of the mobile brigade. These armored cars, four of them, some rifle squad, engineers, and artillery. We have some light tanks here. Yeah. Uh, 20, 30, about 30, 40 uh, light tanks. It's actually an MG tank, I think. Is it? Yeah, two MGs. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just a fun fact. How does a Slovakian mobile brigade look? I actually didn't know. Let's move it forward. Uh, Slovakian Arc Air Command and Slovakian HQ, but yeah, we can put it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the Hungarians have not been activated yet. Mm. The Romanians are active from turn 2. Mm. Yes, of course. Yeah, let's extract the uh, good German infantry from the fray. Let's move them east. Like that. Uh, mountain division. Could use the mountain division to attack maybe. Something. Like this. 
it's already moving, so we can attack anyways. We could use some help here, maybe. Maybe this division. Help the support. Yeah, some division retreats. Yeah, so we will do, use the movement points of the of the mountain division. We will be using the infantry division further east, I think. There's no point in, in bashing on the um, Soviet troops here. I've seen here another division. Let's use this to actually wipe out the Soviets. That division doesn't really matter and we will have this thing sorted out. Or not. Yeah. They help. So, till next turn. Mm. Yeah, I just said that we will be using all the, the divisions to move east and to want to attack. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's one division and singular divisions are needed to stay back and actually deal with the uh, remaining Soviet troops. And so someone has to deal with the, this pocket. And this one division has been designated to do, to do this. Someone has to. Mm, yeah. The rest, the rest may move a little bit and deal with some troops on the way. One division wouldn't be enough. I don't think two divisions will be enough. Let's move up the HQ. Maybe some support units will be sent to help with the fight. No, no, well, no. way too few troops. Maybe next turn. The, these mm, these troops are freshly encircled. So they are mm, very high on supply, so they have. Large defensive values, 21. It's large defensive value. But next turn, mm, they will be much lower. Surrender the, the fort. Remember that this Airborne Brigade is not actually isolated, it's uh, just in regular supply because uh, I failed uh, the last turn to properly isolate it. Oh well. Yeah, this turn I think it will be enough. Send some more, some more forces. Maybe here. Try to move the move the this tank division away. Yeah, very good. And the corridor is a little bit wider. Some more troops, some more infantry, infantry needs to be moving east. the general plan. Uh, the general plan is to move the infantry to Kiev. I can draw a line here. Yeah. Infantry yeah, move to, the, to Kiev because here we have Nip, big uh, Soviet defense line. I've actually breached the defense line here. So we have a bridgehead. Mm. And 
uh, would like to move our infantry line to the river so the panzer divisions may jump to the east. The blue panzer divisions and uh, mobile units are actually from our army group center, so as fast as possible they should um, rejoin their brethren on the assault on Moscow. The rest would drive south to Dnepropiatrovsk. Dnepropiatrovsk. Zaporozhye. Exactly. But all we must, uh, all that we need to consider is our um, logistic network. That it's uh, we are on a short leash. Especially that we will be moving our supplies from the um, Romanian border, not actually from the um, German border here. So the Kiev area is actually a black hole for supply. Uh, until we clear the, the, the pathway here, like it will be free of the enemy units, so the supply might, might be sent this way. Uh, okay, so let's remove the let's remove the uh, fortified region. I hope it's possible with one attack. Is it? Yeah. Very good. The fortified regions always surrender. They never retreat, so it's. We can attack them without fear. Uh, it's nice to. I'm tempted to actually cut this uh, small little group from the larger group uh, more to the east. But is it really worth to, mm, to waste the movement point? I think it's worth. Let's use one division to um, deal with this troop. Let's move her a little bit further. Hmm? They held. The joke's on me. Actually. Maybe use the back. Still held. Oh my god. Third time is a charm. Yeah. They retreated, but actually I prefer them to retreat more to the north, but oh well. Mm. Yes. So let's move further east. This one fortified region. Actually, thought it would be an HQ, but that's quite reasonable. Can be built that way very easily. Move them further east. Let's actually capture some territory. We leave some infantry divisions to move uh, later on after we move our panzers because they might be useful to plug some gaps that we leave with our panzers. Let's try to move a little bit with um, the Romanian troops. We can here try to maybe assault the city. Worked. And we can try to assault. No. No, no. Well, no. No. Yeah, now it works. Okay. But, but still, we failed. No, well. So until 
texture. Yeah. Mm. Up here, some cavalry brigade. Let's see how the situation looks around here. Is it a combat unit? No. There is a there is a fort. Yeah, the cavalry deals with forts as well quite easily. So the whole region here is has been uh, captured. I forgot to use the written formations to see how the situation looks. So it should be done um, at the beginning of the turn, but we were moving some rear troops into your areas and it's not that important in the rear areas. But it's important on the front lines that we are approaching fast. Yeah, but not many hidden Soviet formations. These and there's there some. Some near Odessa. Some more. Okay, I think it's enough. Uh, yeah, the Romanians. We have some cavalry here. Move the cavalry a bit north. The Vinica itself. Yeah, there are no Soviets in Vinica. Let's see how the situation looks here. Bump some HQs. One more cavalry brigade. Mm. A bit more to the north or to the south. Maybe to the south. Uh, I back up. No way. There's a man. Romanian division in the German um, HQ. Uh, opting to fix it. German command should be for German units. Yeah, we are the racist, fascist, and so on. So it's natural to say. Mm. Let's move the, the German infantry as well. No, here maybe? So you can attack the fort. Down, we move forward. So I'm trying to get a better knowledge of how the um, how the Soviet front line look and which of the units are actually combat units and uh, which are just um, HQs or bases and so on. Um, the Romanians cannot move very far. I will leave one division in this location because this is our most valuable unit in the, um, in the army and it needs to be protected while it repairs railroads. Does it very slowly, very slowly. Mm, yeah, we we be moving here to Belze and then east to this hex. I don't think it's a city. Then to Kotovsk and then mm, east to Kirovograd and Dnipropetrovsk. That's the route. Mm, it's very effective, very efficient. Look here. This game has four movement points and cannot move uh, one hex. Some more German troops. Let's move some of the division divisions east. I uh, have here one. Port, so we can assault it and it's hard. Okay. Let's move 
No, just a hasty attack. Ah, no, not a hasty attack, but it's okay. Does the hasty attack works work here? Yeah, works. Good job, good job, my Romanian friends. Deny them in any supply lines, and we will be uh, removing them in the next turn, turn or two turns because the Romanians are not very um, effective fighting force. Okay, so we have here one. Romanian armored division. Let's see what this armored CPD R2, R2D2. Zero light tank. The German gun. It's like Panzer III equivalent or something. And a French, uh, French tank R35, uh, which was bought uh, before the war from the French. Romania was a big, big French ally before the before the war. So we should send the the tanks. We cannot move very far for now, at least. I send it here or send it around. Maybe, maybe around. We have not uh, hmm, established any connections with the with our territory here, but it doesn't matter. We will use some um, German proper German armored formation formations like this. Dash them that guy, Dash it back. Evacuates. They, they won't go through here because there is a biggest German infantry division in the way. They might go maybe a little bit to the east. So we grab some more territory to the east. I might reposition it at the end of the turn. It's nice to leave a little bit of movement points um, to decide later which actual hex they should uh, occupy at the end of the at the end of the turn. We have another uh, SS motorized division. This time SS Viking or Viking. In German is Viking. Mm. Can move even further to the east, and we will. Uh, the closer we are to the Romanian border, the more supplies we get. So it's nice to stay um, south for now, and then strike east. We must be wary because the Soviets can use some of the units they have left mm, behind to cut our uh, supply lines even further. Those airborne brigades are very keen to uh, retreat, not to rout. And uh, they might pull 
I'll, my division will be back because it will, could be cut off. That's to be decided later. I guess we have HQ here. We need the HQ. Maybe the south. We will see which divisions are here, are here also in the same HQ. So we'll keep the whole core close together. Can get some fuel, not that much. Important. That mouse is okay. Yeah. We might want to stay west of the river. I play quite uh, conservative here, they could go all out attack, but the uh, vastness of Soviet territory is quite intimidating. Let's see what awaits us here. It's quite potent uh, cavalry division, but our tanks are even more potent. Beaten a little bit, beaten around. Mm. Yeah, let's reposition a little bit. Division of our HQ, and now the whole core is in close proximity and securing quite a large. Um, quite a large amount of territory. I will move this division even more to the south because it's not needed that far mm, north. I, if I could I would actually put it even further south. Not so well. Mm, yeah, that was the 14th Panzer Corps. Now mm, 48 Panzer Corps, which is the poor bastards here. Yeah, there are only two divisions, and yeah, they're very low on supplies. Mm, and there is a Soviet tank division to their flank, so I think we can beat. Soviet division around a little bit. Mm, they routed. Nice. Good job. I could also move the division a little bit back to rejoin with this one. And reposition the Panzer Corps command here and actually put the 14th Panzer Division into the 48th Corps. Uh, okay, so, only one so it's uh, like the Corps is now consisting of three divisions and they are good close together. This one cannot move at all, so uh, well, we can move one hex first, which will remain here. Uh, there is only one mm, more orange Panzer Division, Panzer Corps remaining. It has two divisions and they are quite in supply, quite well supplied. We won't be bothering with Kiev, we won't be bothering with Cherkasy, we want to drive far and drive south. So we will do this. Stay as far south as possible. So the mm, so this supply from Romania keeps flowing. And we'll also capture some uh, Soviet territory. 
because we're actually now fighting against the Teishu, not against the, mm, the Soviet Union, because there are no Soviet Unions around. And there won't be for the foreseeable future. There won't be any. Times. I'm trying to position it around Kirovograd so we can um, so we can encircle this unit because it's the last Soviet unit in the vicinity, not counting the uh, not counting the cavalry here. Yeah, we're bumping around the. Bases and nuking the, of the fuel. This. Infantry division in this city. Mm. You can't move very far, and uh, if you pay mm, attention how I position the, those divisions, is that they mm, actually uh, have zone of controls around them, so the the cavalry cannot move freely through zone of control. I'm not sure if. Soviet cavalry does ignore zone of control, but I doubt it. So the furthest they can move is actually this hex, and the infantry can move this hex or like this hex, so they won't reconnect. I could also place this division under this command, so it's like closer, but no. Uh, mm. And with the Mm, air command, like air base, I will send the air base here and I will drop some fuel. Oh no, I was about to, but I think it's maybe too far. Uh, it might drop some fuel on the blue, uh, on the blue units then. Ruins are a real mess. Mm, you have one division grouped, uh, like divided into regiments. Pay uh, attention, these are the, the symbols for regiments. It's one division but divided in three, in three sub subunits. One of them has one movement point. And their command is actually here, along with one mm, SS division and one. Uh, like singular regiment, Grand Deutschland uh, regiment. Uh, we could we could actually do one thing. We could assign this division to this command. This is forty six. Forty six. Here, put the uh, action uh, uh, I bump it around a little bit, and uh, and do a HQ builder on the three units. Break the build up, I could use the division a bit more and yeah, bump it. Yeah, it runs great. Must pay close attention to this number so, mm, so our build up is still possible. 
some reserve left. Hmm. They route actually quite often. I'm baffled. Possible, right. mm. I'd like to do with this element. Very good. Build up, they lose all their movement points, but they will be stuffed with fuel for the next operations. Uh, what we have left is another Panzer Corps. We could um, do a build up as well, but yeah. Yeah, it's actually quite tempting to do a build up. Because moving around is quite uh, quite costly, and uh, around the river, like on the other side of the river, there will be completely no no supply. You could move here and try maybe to dislodge the CMX. It's like a wild guess. Oh, it didn't work. And I probably lost my ability to build up. Yeah, because it's 20 and 20. So it's a very bad decision. Because I forgot how much, uh, how many movement points I lose actually attacking to the river. So yeah, the um, southern, uh, the southern group remains a mess. Let's build up the division together uh, and assign it to the 24, 24th Panzer um, Corps. Yeah. yeah, we are way um, mm, way above our time limit, but uh, I would like. Only to finish the the movement of the units. Mm. And we'll end the turn. I will do some admin um, admin actions. I will probably make another video about admin actions because I like to move some HQs around and uh, yeah and this all this crap. Or I can move the HQs around really quickly if that's okay. So yeah, if you actually don't want to see me moving around the HQs, you can stop watching, but I will not cut it out from the video because like, there might be someone who actually wants to see me move the HQs around. I'm trying to position them in such a manner that uh, the the enemy cannot uh, really like bump them. And they are also in range of the um, in range of the units. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 
but for the infantry is not really critical uh, because the infantry is quite close to the supply um, supply source and also uh, it's not that uh, critical for them to be in range of the general I will reposition planes to the south. Uh, because we will be advancing from the south, and the planes will mm, help us in doing it. I might try now just to see if the oh, just working ruin is not possible. Mm. Yeah, some more Romanian HQs. It's the army group HQ. Yeah, I'll put it up here. Close to the railroad. Yeah, and I think it is it. Mm. I might do another video on mm, switching generals using the political points and so on, but I may not do this because I don't want to. It's boring. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me in the. Um, in the campaign and uh, I will click the next turn in the next video before the uh, fourth turn so we will see how we actually felt um, in our moves thanks a lot guys and see you next time this video is like way too big